I'm in a new place and I'm handling my stuff, but check it out. This is my first out and about adventure vlog and we got my boy. Look at this car. Look at this car. That is insane. He's picking me up. We're going to the 99 cent store because I'm a cheap ass and I ain't got no money. And we're going to pick up some essentials for the new apartment. And we're going we're gonna to go on a little adventure with a simple life. And this is my real life vlogs. It's a real simple life. This is the dude that helped my life out tremendously with the move into the, the new apartment that you guys saw the room tour of. He's been like, technically, he's like becoming like a an amazing brother to me. And so all I can do is try to say thank you to this guy. Now, nah, Mike's just my good friend. I, I'm just doing what any good friend would do for a good friend. You know what I mean? See, That's it, Mike. Look how cool he looks. No, it's not. not I inspire to be this uh, guy. I'm actually a big dork. No. That's what it's about. It's about being a dork. We're going to go get some honeys right now, be honest. No, with you. no, we ain't doing that. Yeah, no, we're going to get going, some honey. We're going to the 99 cent store. We're going to get some honeys. <laughs> That's where we're going. A couple of packages of honey. You get it? Yeah. That's all right. Uh, we'll see you at the store. Hey, you from the hood. Don't try to make me like I'm somebody I'm not. You a, you a you, superstar. You know I got to. You know Weren't you in The Rookie? What other TV shows were you on? <laughs> all right, he's a good actor, buddy. But here we are. We're at the 99 cent store where one of my favorite stores. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Let's get on in. Hey, Look at that. I we barely get into the 99 cent I got, store. I gotta pick me up some new shades. And he's gonna pick himself up some new shades. Hey, guess what? The future's so bright. Huh? You gotta wear shades. You never heard that song? Yeah. What about that? What about the pink, man? You, uh, you know what? Good. That's a California boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here it is. We got baked goods and everything in this big 99 cent store. And I'm not gonna lie, I already saw that, and I came for cereal. Two boxes of cereal for 99 cents. Two boxes of cereal of donuts for 99 cents. So if I want a heart attack, I'm gonna pick me up two of these. Hey guys, a little interesting fact that I found out the other day uh, while searching the interwebs. Uh, ice cream sprinkles, they're made of wax. Seriously, look it up. They're made of wax. I don't know why that's fascinating. You're a donut! You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! Dumb! The one good thing about most recent 99 cent stores is they got a pretty decent selection. It's not all 99 cents, but they got some healthy stuff that, you know, it's a little bit cheaper than normal. Like we got some vegetables and stuff, but they go bad kind of quickly. So you got to eat them within the first, you know, like five or six days. But I'm definitely picking up some carrots, some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts and stuff like that to eat some vegetables in my new crib. What? I don't want to eat a vegetable every day. We're going to. So everybody, I think I found a, what is called a 99 cent store come up. It's wild Alaskan pink salmon burgers. You get uh, four in in there and it's only $1.99, which equals what, 50 cents each? And it's salmon. And let me be honest with you, you would think it's pretty unhealthy. It's got no carbs, no sugars, barely any saturated fat, and it's got 19 grams of protein. So this is what you call a 99 cent store healthy frozen food come up. Cha-ching! Bing! One chicken sandwich, large fries, and a vanilla milkshake. But a bing! He said cha-ching, I said cha-chunk. I have never seen this before in my life. I am not getting it, but look at this. Microwave pork rinds. That is insane. Do they just pop up and become big like popcorn apparently in the popcorn section that's why it's at the 99 cent store microwave pork rinds it's beginning to look a lot like Easter that's what stores do they pack in the stuff three months before so we just walk around the corner and now it's St. Patrick's Day you get all the holidays at the 99 cent store Halloween's still going Christmas is over there What's your favorite Easter memory? Mine was we had Easter egg hunts for like 
dollar bills, five dollar bills, and a twenty dollar bill at the local Malibu arcade. They would pack, and they'd pack tokens in every Easter egg. So they'd put out, you know, eggs with actual money, like twenty dollars, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, and they would put tokens in it as well. So you'd go on an Easter hunt, and you would find tokens, or you'd find actual money. So it was a fun Hi. event. All right, guys, every time I come to the 99 cent store, I think of Wet Movie One, my good buddy Brendan, and how he does his hoarding up videos when he finds DVDs or let's call it media. So I'm gonna do my impression of every one of his hoarding up DVD videos, but from the 99 cent store. What am I doing standing outside of a trash dump from over here at the 99 cent store? Well, uh, in here now, taking a look and seeing you know what they have in here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of like blue or even black when it comes to like you know 4Ks and stuff. It looks like a lot of the same kind of stuff from um, you know like previous sales and things like the you know Who's Your Monkey and the you know the Switch Miss. All right, what's up, guys? Check it out. It's me, Wet Movie One. We found some DVDs up here in the hood, and you know they got all that good stuff and all that, and they got they got movies like Scooby Doo, Frank and Creepy. And, you know, I saw that, and it's kind of good. And, you know, they got Reindeer Family and Me. You know, that's a good family movie. You know, you want to get up on that. They also got, like, Citizen Soldier, man. That was, that was a great, great Army movie that I saw. And, you know, Something Borrowed, you know. And they got movies like like Brain Drain. I don't know if I've ever seen that, but, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably pick up on that and, and watch it tonight. And, you know, they got little rascals, you know, they're buckwheat on screen. And, you know, oh, the, ooh, wow, they even got Turtles in Time, man. So this is one of the best Turtles movie that I've ever seen. And maybe I should pick up on this because this is in the Blu-ray format. And, you know, this is a great movie. And, yeah, maybe I should pick up on this Turtles in Time for a dollar. That's my impression because... He technically hasn't watched all the movies he said he does and all that other stuff. But I love him. But hey, they got box sets apparently. Look, Tim and Eric. Oh, it's not a box set. It's the billion dollar movie. I don't know, man. Let's see what they got in these hidden gems. Oh, it's J.G. Yannin. This girl is badass. Yeah, I love her. Her and Donnie Yen. Yeah, I have no clue. Just thought it was funny. Pulse. Brendan's probably in it. It's one of those horror movies that him and his his people make, you know. So, oh, it's a great movie from Magnolia Pictures. I don't know. And let's see what else. Is Jake Paul? No, it's Top Gear. I don't know. There it is. All right, guys, that's me hoarding up. Let's go to my next stop, the disco ball section. Should I pick up a disco ball? Literally, should I pick up a disco ball? Because I'm just full of funk. I want to take this moment to say this is a badass poster. Even though it's ten dollars at the ninety-nine cent store, it's still ninety-nine, nine ninety-nine. You get it.
Let's start glamming me up, making me a prince, shesh, or a prince. Because nowadays you can be anything. Anything you want. An alien, a prince, a princess, a turtle. We have no gender specifications anymore. The very, very mad world. All right, so many people remember an older vlog that I used to have, and then my friend's book was actually at the 99 cent store. Uh, my friend, you know, he wrote a book about entertainment industry and it was at the 99 cent store. And then when I told him and I showed him pictures of it, he was like, oh, that's disrespect. That sucks my books at the 99 cent store. Then I told him, I go, you know what? Now your book is going to get to people that really can afford it and learn from your entertainment history. Because now it's going to be seen by real people, you know, and maybe inspire a new generation because it's at the 99 cent store for sale for so cheap. And then he was like, you know what, you're right. And so I kind of said that. And that was my boy, Ethan Ramirez. He's from Napoleon Dynamite. He played Pedro. But here's in another book news, I found this. It's called Celebrity Word Finds. I guess it's a game that you play and you find words, celebrity words in there. And I guarantee you there's a word in there for me, for Michael Ray Bauer. And the word will be has been or delist. See, if you can't make fun of yourself, why, why leave it up to others when you can do it to yourself? Has been D-list actor. So you might not be able to see everything I got. I got a special, couple special. Oh my God, my cart, where's it going? Run away, cart, everywhere you go. Oh, ding, nope. I avoided that tragedy. And my boy got some stuff as well. So we're having a good time at the 99. Is there gonna be room for my stuff? Look at that, got a lot of stuff. I spent $60 at the 99, $60. There it is. How you doing, Gil? What's up, Mike? So Gil, thank you for taking me out to the 99 cent store to get my stuff for the new apartment. So we're ending the day with your favorite hamburger. Is this your favorite hamburger, In-N-Out? You gotta love it. So long story short, we're closing out this little real life adventure of a simple trip to the 99 cent store. And I did treat myself to a vanilla shake or he treated me. That's how amazing of a friend he is. And I'm gonna eat very unhealthy, but I don't care. Thank you guys for chiming in. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, hate can't hurt happy. So, people were wondering if I got the cereal that was two for 99 cents. Yeah. I'm a fat ash. Gotta love me.